Introduction to Engineering, Final Designs. So we've already sketched out our ideas for a birdhouse, but we didn't include dimensions or anything like that to help us actually build the birdhouse. So we want to make a final drawing, a final design, with rulers and straight lines, making sure everything works out and has the proper dimensions. Now the birdhouse is too tall to put on the paper the short way, so we're going to draw it on the paper standing up. We need to measure a half inch from the bottom edge twice and then connect the two points with a line. Then from that line again measure another half inch and then connect those two points. This is going to be the base of the birdhouse. Now from the left edge, we're going to measure a half inch again, twice, and then connect the two points with a long line. That will be the side of the birdhouse. Now the birdhouse is five and a half inches wide, so measure five and a half inches from the left side of the birdhouse two times and then connect those two points with a long line that is the right side of the birdhouse. Alright now we want to draw the roof so we need to find the middle of the birdhouse and half of five and a half inches is two and three quarters so find two and three quarters inches from one of the sides and connect those two points to find the middle of the birdhouse. Now to find the edge of the roof, we're going to measure four and a half inches up from the base. Do it on the left side, then measure four and a half inches up on the right side. Now the center of the roof is going to be seven and a quarter inches from the base. So find seven and a quarter, mark the peak of the roof. Now use the ruler to connect the peak of the roof to the side of the house. Do this also for the left side. Connect the peak to that point on the left side of the house. So now we have the roof line. We just need to draw the thickness of the boards. So we're going to measure a half inch because the boards are a half inch thick. We're going to measure a half inch from that line two times and then connect the two points so that we have the thickness of the board so we can see the roof. Do the same thing for the other side. Measure a half inch from the roof two times and then connect the two points. Alright, I want my roof to hang over a half inch from the edge, so I'm going to measure a half inch from the edge and then draw a perpendicular line. I'm going to measure a half inch on this side, mark it, and draw a perpendicular line. So there's the roof of the house. Connect any lines that weren't long enough, and then the roof will be finished. The last thing we need to draw is the hole for the bird to get into the house. So measure up four and a half inches from the base and put a mark on the center line. This will be the center of the hole. Next we need a compass to draw the circle and since the hole for our wren needs to be an inch we measure a half inch on the compass. It'll be a half inch radius and one half plus one half makes a one inch diameter hole.
So we're finished drawing our birdhouse. Any lines that are too long, go ahead and erase those extra bits of line. We are almost finished. We need to put down the measurements or the dimensions of the birdhouse. So we draw little extension lines from the birdhouse and then draw a line that goes across and leave a space in the middle. So this is the base and the base was five and a half inches. The length of the side of the house is going to be four and a half inches. So from that edge to the base, draw a line, leave a space in the center and put four and a half inches. We want to put the radius of the birdhouse so we know how big it is. The radius is half an inch. I can also label the width of the base, draw two little extensions and in between them put a half inch because the base and all the boards are a half inch thick. Finally, let's mark the lengths of the roof. One of the pieces is longer than the other. So draw the extension lines, draw the dimension line, and one piece of the roof is five and a half inches long. The other piece of the roof, draw the extensions, put in the dimension line, leaving a space in the middle, is four and a half inches long. Finally, let's fill in the information for our drawing. The title is a birdhouse, the sheet is number one, you put the name of who's drawing it, put the date, and since we drew this life size, we use one to one scale.